President Barack Obama has signed a controversial defense bill that basically allows the indefinite detention of terror suspects. The U.S. president said he had serious reservations on some provisions regarding the treatment of detainees. But as Marina Portnoy reports, during his time in office, Obama's shown he's not always good to his word. Long before he became U.S. president or a Nobel Peace Prize winner, Barack Obama was a constitutional law professor. We have never been more energized and united in our desire to take this country in a new direction. A civil liberties champion turned charismatic candidate who vowed to reverse the abuses and policies of his predecessor, George W. Bush. Three years later, many civil rights advocates who once cheered, yes, we can, are finding themselves saying, no, you can't. Not only has the Obama administration blocked torture accountability and refused to investigate and prosecute, um, he's, he's basically maintained indefinite detention. He's revived military commissions. Um, and as we've seen as well, he has uh, expanded targeted killings. So they've increased under the Obama administration many fold, and he's even authorized the killing of a U.S. citizen. So, you know, I, I think, yeah, we're in a, you know, there is a, a bad state of civil liberties under the Obama administration. World-renowned author and scholar Noam Chomsky believes the Obama administration has changed gears and accelerated illegal practice into overdrive. There's a shift between Bush's policies and Obama's on this. Bush, Bush's policy was to kidnap people, whatever you thought about them, uh, take them to Guantanamo or Bagram or some other torture chamber and you know, try to extract some information out of them. Obama's policy is just to kill them. Uh, they're killing them all over the world. And the bin Laden assassination was a case in point. Another is the targeting drone killing of Anwar al-Waki, an American-born cleric. U.S. drone strikes during Obama's first two years in office exceeded the total carried out during Bush's tenure. President Obama described al-Waki as the leader of external operations for al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Human rights groups, which voiced international opposition against Bush counterterrorism policies, quickly condemned the al-Waki killing. Journalist Jeremy Scahill says Obama's policies have drifted far from his political roots. A President McCain doing the exact same thing that a President Obama is doing would have been denounced by a lot of liberals. And so... We're at one of those dangerous moments in, in U.S. history, and we saw it a bit with Clinton in the 90s, where a Democrat who campaigned on a pledge to change the, you know, the country and the world uh, has actually pushed a, a right-wing agenda further forward than a, Republic, a Re Republican could have if they remained in power or they took power. Or expanded power. As Obama gears up for his re-election campaign, civil liberty groups that believed his words the first time around are now left to judge the commander-in-chief on his actions. America's democracy is represented by a president who studied and taught the rule of law and is now armed with the duty to carry it out. But critics say as long as Obama plays by his own rules, the Constitution and his promise of change both remain compromised. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York.